Hey guys, how are you doing today? So today I have got a come shop with me because today I'm going to London. Um, I've only actually been to London since the pandemic once um, and I actually stayed overnight. Um, but today I'm going over to Westfield and I'm actually filming this after the fact I've been I've not had any lunch, I've got a headache <laughs> and I'm just like exhausted because what I was planning to do and what I actually did was I went to Westfield, London, drove there, it's about an hour for me um, on a good run and then I parked up there and went around the shops there and then what I did was got the tube because in Shepherd's Bus is on the central line and it's like six, seven stops to Oxford Circus, got off of it, off at Oxford Circus and did a recce round there and then got back on the tube, then got back home, now I'm home. Whew. And yes, I am wearing my £1.87, this is how much this t-shirt or polo shirt, Ralph Lauren one, cost me in a charity shop. I didn't do like a charity shop haul with that because I just bought this and it was literally one eighty seven, which was ridiculous. But yeah, so today I have got a come shop with me around Westfield, London. I'm the aim is to do Christmas shopping because I know it's like beginning of November but or nearly mid-November now um, I want to get things out of the way just in case we have another lockdown again and we don't want that do we because that was because it was like a mad panic then they told us we were going into lockdown I did drop my brother's I didn't go in his house I dropped his presents off outside um, like the day before we actually went into a proper lockdown and then we went into lockdown and yeah and then what four months later we we emerged but yes yeah, so that's why i'm trying to do my christmas shopping early today and i was going to say if i buy anything but i know i've bought something i will do a little haul ish at the end come join me round shopping around a few stores at westfield london here we go into westfield i actually filmed that clip when I was coming back from central London, but look how dead Westfield is. This was admittedly about, what, 10 past 10, 10 o'clock, something like that, and it is completely dead. This is the best time to come. Some of the shops do open a bit earlier than 10, like Primark opens at nine, um, but we went in the village first, which is kind of the luxury area, and you can see there's some luxury shops around here. What can we actually see though? Uh, is that, can I see, oh Burberry, is that Burberry? No, Versace there, Burberry there, and then Louis Vuitton is coming up, and that was our first port of call today. Um, I didn't get any footage in the store, but I will have what I bought at the end of the video, so check out that. Um, and then after that, I actually dropped the stuff back into my car because I didn't want to walk around with a Louis Vuitton bag. Um, look how dead it is though, it's completely quiet, and this was like, you know how long people are in like Louis Vuitton, so it was like half an hour, if not later than that, Next stop was Zara Home and I didn't really get much um, clips in there because I was literally the only one in there. I went in Urban Outfitters next and I cannot tell you when the last time I went into an Urban Outfitters was. Um, and I always thought it was a lot, like, overpriced for what it is. Um, and I've never, I don't think I've ever bought anything in Urban Outfitters, but some of the stuff was catching my eye. That is a very interesting colour sweatshirt that I found and the prices were pretty comparable to, like, Top Man or what Top Man used to be anyway. Um... And I didn't think that, I thought it was a bit more pricey than that, to be honest. I just couldn't remember. That tank top was very, oh, what was that? Bake Off. That guy from Bake Off from a few years ago, he wore something like that with the glasses. Did he win? I think he won. Um, I really liked this. It's not a half zip, so you can't call me out for that, but it's half like button up, which is so nice. Uh, that's like their Less Friends brand. I'm not sure if that's their own brand, but I only ever see it in Urban Outfitters. Um, that was a very funky uh, jumper, whatever that was. Um, but there was a lot of like earth tones, obviously, because it's like autumn. That check um, jacket was quite nice as well. And um, they obviously do sell brands, well, it's mainly like brands in Urban Outfitters, like their Fever and stuff. Um, but some of their own brands, which I guess are more, I don't know, that's like BC is it bcg and then less friends which i'm guessing is urban outfitters and um, they saw guests and stuff like that as well um and just a few t-shirts in here i don't know if there is a guest actual store at westfield not sure um but 
yeah that's quite a cool installation actually um and i always find the stores very like industrially inspired as well which i do actually really like there's some russell stuff russell athletic stuff in here which they've just done a collaboration with boss um which does look very similar to the stuff they've done in boss because they've got that r on everything um and i guess the boss stuff is a bit more expensive we've got some puffer jackets all over the place um and then some more stuff on this wall this oh my god this was literally i remember i can still remember it now the softest thing i've ever felt i think it was so nice i was in buy it was quite expensive um, but it was just so nice loved that um on that houndstooth green houndstooth um like tank top sweater pullover was really nice and so was this jacket this was bdg that's what the brand is not bcg bd bdg can't even say that um yeah that was quite a nice casual jacket um next off was zara and i know i've just done a zara come shop with me go click on that one but if i'm not mistaken this is if this one's not the biggest one but the westfield stratford one's the biggest one in the uk can't remember but it's an obviously a very nice spread out men's store that puffer jacket was really nice and this cardigan i thought was very funky um in a nice yellow and gray a bit like a bee really 45 pound though um so a bit pricey um this coat i just wanted to show you i've got like exactly the same coat but i got it for literally 100 pound off from that i'm literally mine was 19 pound that's 119 and i got it in the zara sale so wait for the zara sale i'm always an advocate of that i know i keep banging on about it but wait for the zara sale um and then i thought this was that like yeah it's like a fleece um couldn't find a price of that but i thought it was very funky um couldn't find a price at all is that a bit 90s bit bit 90s i think that looks um what else we got that shirt forgot the name of what that was it was really nice but it was 60 pound next we're going into abercrombie um haven't bought anything in abercrombie in literally ages they've got a lot of quarter zip half zip sweatshirts which we know are my fave i can't get enough of these ones are how much are these 52 pound um uk but they had them in loads of different colours, like a navy one, which they literally have that exact one in Zara for £27. So there's a dupe. They don't, I was just so tempted by that, like, sagey, turquoisey, teeny green one, because, you know, that is my fave colour. But I've got one very similar from Primark, which was 18. This was a really nice, like, jacket, which was 82. And then they got some rugby style polo shirts as well this nice red one and also the one above which is a really nice striped one this next thing also caught my eye because i was actually advertised this on facebook which is like a cricket style jumper cable knit one so nice in the blue and the white or the cream i would definitely get the blue um and then this jacket at 99 pound caught my eye but it was like sherpa line so i guess that's why that's very expensive next off we're going in pull and bear and if you have not watched my most recent online pull and bear come shop with me i will link that above that's also with bershka the the price of the day in pull and bear seemed to be 29.99 a lot of their stuff was 29.99 or like their jackets and stuff like that or just like thicker shirts were 29.99 this one was really nice a nice gray um, colour again 29.99 um, I really like this one for obvious reasons favourite colour but this one was a bit more pricey I think yeah 45.99 but I really love that colour it's like a washed out mint next off was Bershka I didn't get much in here because there's a lot of sales people walking around that was quite nice again 29.99 seems to be the flavour of the month um, some nice jackets and everything like that this one really caught my eye because um, it's like a black and white one kind of like a washed out black grey I suppose um yes i really liked that um and then this like nice fluffy fleece in like an eye kind of an aztec print 55 pound and then this really caught my eye and um, we do like a nice jacket dress just saw the price of that 27 uh 99 but that felt really nice and a really nice price of that as well next off was john lewis but i'm going in the christmas shop and you'll have to wait till the next video so i'm obviously back now i'm extremely tired um but what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm film some clips at Westfield London and in central London and I'm going to do, which will probably be the next video, like shopping in the Christmas sections at the department stores. I'm going to do John Lewis, Liberty, Fortum and Mason and Selfridges. I'm not, I didn't go to Harrods because I was just too much. I literally walked everywhere. Um, so those are to look forward to. 
and I will be doing half of a haul in this video of what I picked up which, but I'm not going to be able to show you some of the bits because they're like wrapped um, and then half of it in another one which is more Christmas related. These are like gifts. I didn't spend anything for me except one thing which will be in the um, like actual Christmas video but before we get into the haul Westfield like when I got back in the car it was like two um, in the car park and there was literally loads of spaces so I don't know what it's going to be like when it gets more to Christmas and when I was there in the morning I literally got there at 10 o'clock had to run to the loo and then because it actually took me an hour and a half this morning because traffic and stuff and it was just ridiculous when I was driving down if you know the A40 driving down the A40 I was literally there was like a crash on the other side of the dual carriageway and there was a queue literally four miles long um so that wasn't great but I wasn't on that side um but yeah so Westfield London when I got there was really calm and serene really quiet I guess it gets a bit busier at like the 12 o'clock mark um but it opens at 10 some of the stores do open earlier like Primark opens at nine but there's no way I was going to get there for nine because that would literally have taken me two hours to get there and um, because of rush hour traffic but I would say all in all I didn't go in at that many stores at Westfield. I did glimpse like a few. We went in like Urban Outfitters, which I haven't been in in a long, long time. Um, I went in Zara Home and bought something in Zara Home, but that is actually Christmas related. So that's going to be in the back end of the next video. Um, and I bought some few bits. So the first place I went to, um, let me put that here. First place I went to was Louis Vuitton. Um, now, I only got one bag this time, but it's actually full to... It's got three things in it. Um, as you can see, it's quite a thick bag. Um, and basically, I got three books again. That is my favourite. Oh, I'm trying to pull something which isn't pullable. Where's my receipt? Oh, I don't know. So basically, oh, um, I got a few things. This is a drawer box. I think that's different to the ones I got last time. So basically I got a few Christmas gifts. So this one I know is the travel guide for New York is in there, um, which I'm going to give it to a friend. And then I've got two more. These ones are like the boxes I had last time. It's like a magnetic one. And I've got two in there and he, the person said the, um, I don't, I think this is a smaller box actually. Um, He's slipped a note in here to say which one's which. So in this one or in the next one is London guidebook, um, not guidebook, travel book, because this is uh, the New York guidebook in this one. You can see the difference inside. Um, I might have to go back again and like get one for myself because the guidebooks are £25. The travel books, which are so nice, they're just like illustrated, are 38 so I got one of London and another one, that's my receipt, we don't want to look at that, another one of Edinburgh. So I'm just going to put those back in there for now, but like I spent a hundred, oh, how much? A hundred and one pounds in Louis Vuitton, which is probably quite cheap for them, but yeah, so that's what I got in Louis Vuitton. I will not be opening them because I'm going to keep them wrapped like that for Christmas. I should have said to him, can I have them in three bags? Because that would have been nicer, but I'm guessing that's more wasteful. But yeah, that is a lot more wasteful, but this bag is extremely heavy. It might break. Um, and... The people I'm giving to wouldn't, they don't need the bag. The bag is for me. But um, they can just get the stuff in the boxes. I'll put the receipt back in there. I don't want to look at that. Um, and then when I was in London, like Central, I also went in Liberty. So I got two bags in Liberty. Uh, one big one, which is lovely. I love the purple. And one smaller one. Um, I got this one gift wrapped. So I'll be showing you what it is on the screen, but the gift wrap, can you see, it's got like Liberty written all over it. Um, this was, uh, what do they call it? And they only had two left in store, 
which they and they said they didn't know when they would get them back in stock the it was um part of the they've got like some vintage peanut snoopy um cards like what do you call them postcard things that they framed and they were 25 pound and i thought my sister loves snoopy peanuts so i bought the only one they had left was the lucy crying one and there was half the reason why i went into central was to get that so i was like i'm not coming away empty-handed um and then it comes in this cute little purple bag um let's just pop that there for now and then in the bigger one which i wasn't planning on buying anything more than that in liberty um but i saw this in there um and i thought that's quite a nice gift um and i'm going to give this to my brother-in-law who can also play it with my niece as well, I think. Is there like an age? Yeah, so it says not suitable for children under three. I think this is really good and I should have, maybe I should have bought another one. I might go back. It says age 14 plus, but then it says not suitable for children under three. So I don't know. Basically, it's like an air hockey. Air hockey, well, it's air hockey, but without the air. So basically, you just set it up like that on like a table and then you have the putt and stuff and you just do that. Um, and this was 15 95 which like for something that you get then in a like a Liberty bag and stuff like that, I thought that was quite nice. And they gave me, well, they just popped tissue paper on top. Um, and that's the tissue paper that was, the other thing was wrapped. In. so yeah that is what i got i didn't buy any clothes i'm not buying any clothes now until next year because i've literally spent quite a lot of money today um but yeah i will be doing another video after this one um going around the like christmas departments in the department stores except harrods because i was not i'm sorry but i was not traipsing all the way over to harrods because it's such Far out the way, I literally walked, got off the tube, we went to Liberty. I did go into Hamleys because I just wanted to look to see if they got something. I didn't film in there and they didn't. Um, went to Fort, walked to Fortnum's and then walked up Bond Street to Selfridges. And I was done by that point, then got the tube back to Shepherd's Bush, White City, Westfield, whatever, um, and then went home. So... I'm pretty tired now and I haven't had anything to eat apart from a go-ahead bar. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have you started your Christmas shopping yet? Let me know down below. Um, I've only got a few things to get. I need to get some like, my dad wants some aftershave and stuff like that. And then I'm, I think I'm, well, I need to find something for my brother. That's the only thing he's quite tricky to buy for. Um, but he did say don't buy anything because he just wants stuff like me to spend my money on the kids rather than like my niece and nephew for him rather than on him but I have bought stuff for my sister-in-law so I can't really buy something for my sister-in-law and not for him I'm just going to give her one of the things that I bought her some Disney stuff from Primark which I'll link up here from that haul that you can watch but yeah oh my god to be fair London when I got into central London it was about what I would say it was 12 something because I think I left White City near enough about half 11-ish maybe it was a bit before that I wasn't really keeping track of my timings to be honest but I it was really not overly busy which was great because obviously there's not that many tourists at the moment and stuff but the shop like Libit <laughs> Hamleys was not that busy actually but I only went on the second floor um or the first floor sorry but Regent Street was fine a lot of the Selfridges was fairly busy but not too busy but yeah all in all not bad going on a weekday it is monday today so i literally went on a weekday so there's that it's not um it's it wasn't that busy so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video um if you're not ready please subscribe hit that bell down below um for you to be notified when you when i not you when i next upload and i will see you in my next one make sure you follow my instagrams down below they're always linked down there as well and i'll see you in my next one bye